Good morning. Hey, hey guys, Rihanna and Crisp here from the OT Lifestyle Movement. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. I have pivoted a lot in my career and in my business. And a lot of people I find that I talk to are fearful around pivoting, around changing direction in their in their career or in their business. And I totally get this because a lot of us have worked for quite a number of years. We have a really solid foundation for where we're working. We are earning a really good income. We need to provide an income to, um, you know, support our family and, you know, life is good and it's comfortable. But a lot of us get this little niggle or this little thought of, hmm, I'm comfortable, but I know there's more. I know there's something else that I want to follow and that I want to explore, but I'm not sure how to start. I don't even know whether I want to explore it because um, it means getting uncomfortable and it means I don't know exactly what's next because it's the unknown. So with me, you know, I've changed heaps of times in the different practice areas that I've worked within. Uh, but I have been, the majority of my career has been within pediatrics. And then within my business, you know, I started out initially in personal training and then I transitioned to opening up my own mobile occupational therapy business, which I still run today. But along the course of my career, I I started to um, look at different avenues and I was really interested in autism and working with autistic children. And so I wanted to spread my message further and I started a business around this and trying to build a community. But this fell out of alignment with me. And then I was like, oh, I need to pivot. I need to do something else. And I need to follow my purpose and what was lighting me up. And it wasn't until last year, 2020, when I decided I wanted to sort of explore working with occupational therapists more. Um, you know, this seed was sort of planted a few years ago now, and I I didn't explore it for quite a while, um, purely because I had so much on. Hey, Tilby, I had heaps going on, and I just didn't have the capacity to explore it. Once things sort of settled down and I realized that I was no longer in alignment with the work I was doing in the autism community, in the online space, that really, um, it, it just was not filling me up anymore. Um, and I just had this calling to find out what I could do within this OT lifestyle movement. Like I already had the name in my head um, and it was really combining all of my passions so, um, yeah, I started to explore that. And I think so often we, we don't explore things because of fear, because we don't know how things are going to look. We often hold ourselves back because we feel like we need the final chapter written before we even get started. We feel like we need to know exactly what it's going to look like before we even take that first step. And I tell you, if if I thought that was the case, I never would have started any of my businesses. I never would have, um, you know, changed into an, into different practice areas. But the truth is when you feel like you're, and sometimes it comes from this place of being really unfulfilled, really out of alignment, not fulfilled in a certain area that you, you start looking and you start seeking and this is when this is when doors open this is when you start to see more um and and sometimes it comes from that place of lack and and not feeling like it's enough and that's what it did for me um but it was this abundance of an area that i really wanted to explore so you know if you are in this place where you're feeling like you want to pivot or you're feeling like where you are right now just it doesn't feel right. Like there's something you know in your heart that you have this purpose inside of you or this vision or this dream, you know, follow that, you know, fan that spark and turn it into a flame. Find out what is possible because you, you will never know unless you take that first step. So just start and follow your curiosity, like follow 
follow that thread of your own curiosity um, because it will lead to beautiful places and you'll start getting connected to other incredible people who are in the same space as where you want to be. Um, so just take small steps. Don't feel like you need to have it all figured out. Take small steps and follow your curiosity. Um, and, and you will know, you'll know if you don't feel like you're in the right space. Um, and I think a lot of the time, like I said, we do know, but we just don't have that courage to, to acknowledge it and to then do something about it. It's, it's in that doing because a lot of the times, you know, we are conscious, we might be conscious of it, but we're not taking those action steps to actually make a change in our own life. And we are the only ones who are going to do the push-ups for ourselves. We are the only ones in our life. We can watch, you know, all the personal development. We can do, you know, do all the things, reading the books. But unless we actually take action towards that vision, that thing that we want to achieve, then nothing's going to happen. We're going to wake up 10 years from now and still be in exactly the same place as what we were 10 years ago. It doesn't matter how many books you read, if you're not putting it into action and you're not following through. Um, and it's messy, you know, and life is messy. Life is so messy and you're not going to know exactly how it's going to unfold. And that's part of the excitement. That's part of the journey. That's part of the learning experience. That's part of the growth and the evolution of the human spirit. Um, so be with that and that's okay. So I'm going to be jumping on here more regularly. I'm, my goal is to do a live for the next two and a half months. So it will either be on here, on Instagram, on my page. So follow along. And if there's anything that you would like me to speak on, please let me know because there's a lot of days and um, yeah, I'd love to speak to whatever it is that you'd like to learn about or like to know about me or my business or anything. That would be amazing. Anyway, have an awesome day, guys. It's okay to pivot, follow your purpose, your passion, be led by that and do work that matters. One occupation at a time. Mwah. And let me know where you are and where you're watching from. I always forget to ask. If you're watching this, let me know and let me know where you're watching from. Let me know what resonates um, because I'd love to, yeah, just find out who, who this is reaching. All right, see you guys. Bye.